Oh, hold up, hold up, guys. Let me take a selfie. Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair. I am your host, Mr. Mind Toy Fair, and I am joined by the founder of the NECA Illuminati, the delayer of shipments, the procrastinator pre-orders, the perfect person, my YouTube wife, Mrs. Modern Toy Fair, Jamar underscore games. I am also joined by the man who's giving me the pittiest of laughs right now. The man known as Beard Spice. The man Modern Toy Fair has full custody over. The man off to his prime popped and refuses to stop. The Twilight Knight. The Master of Mac. The three pump jump of taking the show off the rails. Nate, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I have a small <laughs> confession that I want to get out there because I am oh. perpetually behind in everything. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know I am now two episodes into the boys so oh my god just the time for I season four say the boys gen v yikes nope, <laughs> nope. i knew what he meant yikes. i knew what he Two meant episodes in. oh my god i do appreciate the pity laughs though nate i do appreciate the pity oh laughs. you're welcome you're welcome uh, i mean i don't wouldn't say it was pity laugh in my case because i was more so confused and disappointed oh yeah the, yeah like the, also, uh, like that's why I said thanks for well, Nate for the pity laugh. Well, I know, well, I know, but I said he was genuinely surprised. Oh yeah, both uh, of you well, didn't I, get I'm it at first. Surprised at the joke, uh, yes. Then I was like, oh my god, that's so bad. But then, <laughs> in the middle of my laughing, came some genuine guffaws because at that point it was so bad that I was, I was very amused. Well, so, I'm glad that I you can go there. back on the tape and look and see exactly where I switch over from fake <laughs> to real laugh. I ca I kind of want to now just because I'm, yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> the point of the terrible joke is, it seems that Hasbro, after announcing this big update in October, where they're going to add like sculpted beards and you know more options and glasses and stuff has killed the selfie series so you know roughly three four weeks ago people noticed that when you open the hasbro pulse app there's no selfie series button anymore and if you go into the frequent because that's the first thing i notice every time i open the hasbro app i just want everyone to know oh my god i never like immediately went to transformers or star wars i, I went, mean it oh is my god, literally at the bottom of the screen selfie. where like the th your thumb would be the so like bottom of the screen i well also to be fair i don't use the app anymore because it kept fucking me in certain parts uh as far yeah. as getting my pre-orders in when mm -hmm. i gave a oh, shit okay. about doing pre-orders so i got rid of the app and then you only use the website which does not even show you did not selfie. did not yeah. did not take out its dick and slap me in the face with uh selfie series it, at all you couldn't get through the website at all you have it. to do it through the app oh uh, well, when you did yeah so I found, yeah so then my world has been selfie series free for the well, entire i would have never known this yeah this that's that one were way talking about when i rudely interrupted it. It. and as i really interrupted that, but it's no, one way to look that at was it, not maybe. rude maybe that was not rude this is <laughs> like was... the view or red table talk if you will of oh, no. boy <laughs> podcasting some Purple truths table. are going to be revealed. Some feelings are probably going to be hurt. But at the end of the day, it's like... We grow together. Yes. We grow. We grow. I've, heal, I've, not watched, grow. I've not watched The View in 20-some years, so I don't know if that's part of it. Um, <laughs> was was Red Table Talk the one that had the girl from Roseanne? That one? I don't that? know what, you're, what that is. No, I think that was The View. Red Table Talk, I thought, was... Uh... So Michael, I'm pretty sure it's with what is it not with Jada? Not... Jada was on Red Table Talk. I'm so yeah. sorry. What a, I'm talking about <laughs> trying. the talk. I'm really oh, trying. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a different show. Please that's, don't uh, tune out yet. We'll eventually daughter. get back on topic. Why would you not why would you tune out? Eventually when we are we'll get back to discussing daytime. the thing that you clicked on this video for. <laughs> the thing that my clickbaity thumbnail convinced you to, to that was probably honest. gonna be Nate taking a selfie, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, exceed, the thumbnails you get you here. I don't know why the you're winking, but <laughs> I don't know. Is that what keeps is you going? What? I don't know. Anyway, so 
The only time I take a selfie, the is app I'm taking a removed drop. the button. The frequently asked questions stated that at this time we are currently not accepting new orders for selfie series. And once I heard about the this, don't reference. Uh, I went and I emailed them because I was I was curious. I'm like, you emailed them. I did. Well, you you cracked this case open. Why are we not more famous than this? When the funny thing is now too, I, I'm realizing that I am looking at you on the screen, but Lynn, technically I should be looking here, but I'm looking at you. It's been a wild week, fellas. It's been a wild. It has been. This is. WBF Nate right now. Um, oh my god, I'm so sorry, everybody. Anyway, so I I emailed Hasbro Pulse to try to find out if this was like a temporary thing or if this was a permanent thing, and I they literally just copy and paste the frequently asked questions response and oh. sent it to me. That's all they did. So I have to assume that means that it is dead in the water because. Like, at that point, why not be like, oh, you know, it's currently just not available. Like, they just said, we're not right. accepting new orders at this time. Like, it just seemed very, like, something's going on. And, which just sucks, because I was excited about the new updates. Like, they were, I believe they just hit in October, so it's been two months max. And, or not even that, because if this was three or four weeks ago, that's one month. That it would have been yeah. up, so I don't know if anyone even managed to get one who wasn't a part of that live stream with Dan Larson. <laughs> so they did the announcement for the new, the new like update, right? Mm -hmm. And it goes live. Maybe it was just like to very little fanfare, where like, okay, this isn't doing anything. Like we we tried. I'm assuming that's where you're gonna go. I mean, you're, <laughs> because I, Nate's getting closer and closer to the screen. But I, yeah, like I don't blame him for killing it at this point. If like the 2.0, I'll call it update, came out and it still didn't drive like a bunch of traffic to. Well, it didn't Sunster. help that like they gave Dan Larson his own figure while he was on that Hasbro Pulse li uh, con live stream, and he like he wasn't necessarily like over the moon about it, so. Uh -huh. Like, do you think what looked more like him? Do you think it was that selfie series or the Reed Richards from just a couple of years ago? I was I was gonna say it's the uh, new GI Joe guy in the bomber jacket looks more like him. Well, definitely yes, that that one will be next. But because he even used it as himself, the Reed mm -hmm. Richards head, uh, to, to great success, I believe yeah, he just yeah. put himself in like a suit jacket and mm -hmm. pop that head on there. And oh, yeah, hundred percent. I wonder like, which one. I wonder which one looked better. Probably the Reed Richards, unfortunately. Uh, which I mean, I have my selfie series and I, for, for 60 bucks, it's not bad at all. Like people were expecting like this $300 level individually sculpted masterpiece from like a mass production standpoint. And that wasn't going to happen. And I don't understand why people had those expectations. I think it's just because people, the, the normal collector do, doesn't like shop around on Instagram from customizers and get quotes. So they don't understand how much things actually cost, I guess. But I've gotten quotes from people who like legit were going to have me go and like scan, like my face, take multiple pictures so they could full 3d model me. And it was going to cost like two to 300 bucks versus this was 60. And you got a fucking body with it. Mine would have just been a head. So, like, all around, this wasn't a bad deal. I think the figure options were shit, though. That's honestly, in my opinion, what really killed it. Because, I mean, the likeness is... It's going to be mediocre regardless what you do. But having it force you to be these main characters to me, like, that, that didn't seem like what people would want. Like, you'd want a figure of yourself in normal clothes. You don't want to be Spider-Man or Iron Man or a Stormtrooper. Like, some people might want that, but I feel like most people would want it to represent more of them and less of, like, something else. Or even if it was, like, maybe Stormtroopers, Cobra Viper Troopers, like, it was, like, you were a generic trooper or something like that. But, like, the main characters, the Mandalorian, like, the, and stuff like that just seemed a little too main character-y, like, hmm. Interesting. in my opinion, at least. Because I kind of, I'm the opposite, like... 
I mentioned before, I just wanted like a like a T'Challa body or something like that, which I thought was a thing, but maybe it wasn't. I can't um, remember. Yeah, I just I kind of wanted a wider variety, which I kind of understood why not to do that. But I don't. I time, don't like, though because just reuse those bodies. The bodies they already have. Yeah, so that was kind of where my thought of like, oh, okay, well if I buy this, then I'm gonna really just get rid of this body, and then I'm gonna try and find this character to put this body. So giving me more of a complete, um, complete option would have been cool. I didn't necessarily. I don't like. I'm not disagreeing with you like it would have been cool to have just like random guy outfit or something like that but mm -hmm. i feel like that was the what what hasbro had to offer to a selfie series is that they have these you know other figures that they make you have these uh properties that they can use might as well use them i just think that maybe it was a little bit lackluster in that regard so what was available so give me more but it this is, did they not try to clearance this out? Because that would have been a good. <laughs> Just find a figure of yourself at Ross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be like, on my toilet. Holy shit, is that Jamar? Twelve ninety nine. A little cheap or a little little steep. We'll see. <laughs> what, yeah, what, about, what about what about you, uh, Silent Bob? <laughs> well, I wanted to make sure. I went last. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. So I, I have a couple of thoughts on this. We'll start at the very top um, with Michael's point of I, – I also agree that the price was comparable to what you were getting because you're absolutely correct. I don't – you're right. People don't look into getting custom-made figures of themselves. And the, the ones that I've seen that are cheaper are bad. Like oh, yeah. those little, you can get like little ones done on like caricature body type mm -hmm. things and, and they look really terrible. Um, so, you know, no, did they look exactly like you? No, they also, this was not a mass production. They're not going to make a couple of thousand of your face and head. Um, so yeah, for the price, I, I thought they were fine. It wasn't something I wanted. But for the most part, like I didn't, well, I, I certainly didn't go on like Facebook boards and message. Well, they don't, they don't even do message boards anymore. I'll just say the food has internet. its forums. Okay, I'll just say the internet uh, in general. They loved. I, I didn't go out there and just shit all over it because honestly, I didn't care. Like it wasn't for me. Um. So, but I wasn't like angry about it. I disagree also, but though with you about the, the character selection, I understand that, especially initially, they wanted to put that out there for toy fans, but also I kind of think what they were thinking of was toy fans would get this for their friend or their spouse or their significant other to show them like, hey, this is my hobby, but I want to make you a part of it, you know, something like that. Because it's going to look close enough for like a $60 gift to be like, yeah, that is awesome. And that's why it's, you know, X-Wing pilot, Mandalorian, you know. So like that. Mm -hmm. I, here's why I disagree with that. If that was their thought process, then the app was done very poorly. Because unless I, I – because like say I wanted to like surprise you two and get them for you as gifts. I would have to drive okay. over to your house and scan your fucking head and convince you that Fair I'm enough. just fucking around. But they're, they're still pushing this out there. I mean, it could still be a gift. I I could do this for my wife, and mm -hmm. it would still be a gift in the sense. Of, but whatever. But whatever. it would be like Fine. a surprise thing. It would be like I'd have right. to go over yeah. and explain right. what I'm but doing, still, and it wouldn't like. They were trying to keep costs low, mm -hmm. so you know, mass produced bodies that they can they can make a run of, you know, at one time. You know, Mandalorian, Storm Shadow, or not Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes. Uh, I don't know, Captain America, whatever they were. I don't remember what the options all were. Ghostbusters. Captain America. Ghostbuster, uh, Iron Man, oh, yeah, Spider Man. Was... So I, I definitely do agree disagree that people don't want to be Iron Man. I think a lot of people want to be Iron Man. I think to get a body yeah, that's just you, I think would be a bummer. Like I would definitely not order that. No, thank you. Yeah, like great, um, I'm still I've seen me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I'm like, I mean, you, you me, could, you'd have control. You could like a video game. You could make yourself ripped. <laughs> yeah, that just, it, 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 that's not, then I might as well just make me Iron Man, you know? Wait, like, Nate, Nate, they, they, when you submit your photo, 
they scrape yeah. your uh, your Facebook photos and Instagram <laughs> and surprise right. you with your actual body. <laughs> yeah, like, what no the thing. fuck? Why am I five four? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> the one time a Hasbro figure is like in scale. Yeah. <laughs> but no offense to people who are five four. Just, just a joke. Here's what I think happened. I think they were about to launch the 2.0. I think they saw the general online consensus was everybody going, we don't care. <clears throat> And I think that was as a cost saving measure, they cut it. They just cut it because we had been talking for a couple of weeks now about the mass Ollie's Hasbro Mm -hmm. extravaganza. Well, now it's rolling into Ross and it's like, the question is like some of this stuff was really prevalent at Walmart and target and was already clearanced out. Like who is this stuff made for? There is such a glut of Hasbro product out in the market right now that the stuff that you paid retail for most of it is going at like, not that you, even if you wanted to like, I'm not even saying you should try to sell it, but just you could go buy it again, new for a third of the price of what you paid for it. There's so much out there. They in a non panic move, I think are just going to slowly kill some things that weren't generating the kind of income they wanted it to. And I think this was a, a, a situation where it was a great idea, whether or not people understood truly what they got, or even if we don't really, I mean, they just, they didn't see the value in what they were presented with. Ultimately, we'll never know how it could improve because the market just wasn't ready to support it. That's very fair. I, I, I think you're right. I think it was a situation where, unfortunately, the internet didn't seem excited. So they're like, well, fuck it. Why should we bother? And just cut it. I hope that maybe and I'm wrong. I can't wrong. even say that's the wrong thing. Like a lot of times it's done the wrong way, but you know, we are supposed to vote with our, our wallets ultimately. And yeah, I, I don't necessarily agree on just constantly shitting on something just cause you don't like it. But yeah, I mean, not buying does send a message. So so not to get like too off topic here, but you brought up something that actually we already did that. Do you remember not talking about yeah, red table talk? Yeah, I, mean, I fucking remember. Do you um, want to get back to that? No, no, I don't. Uh, so you mentioned <laughs> that like right I now, Ollie's and Ross I'm are like filled to the brim Meredith with Hasbro Vieira stuff. And while I was on my toy hunt, time. I noticed this is I'm before Rosie O'Donnell. There we go. So we no one can hear you. Uh, <laughs> uh, that <laughs> but. Uh, so while I was on my toy hunts this week, I noticed that one of the targets I went to actually had done a reset in the toy section. There was no Marvel Legends section. So I don't know if that was just like a temporary thing for the holidays because they had absolutely nothing. Yes, Nate? I swear if you talk about tabletop and kicking you out of the Discord. <laughs> Fair. Please, please say it. <laughs> But I just can't believe because you guys don't remember Star Jones and then the <laughs> fact that – anyway. All right. All right. I do remember that. Uh, what, uh, what, did you, what, did, what did you just say? The Target reset. Target did a missing. reset at one of the, oh, the targets I had. Oh, this has happened and... before. This has happened before. I don't know if, I don't know if it was a year ago or what, but this definitely happened before where Marvel Legends is off the set. And then it's off for a while, and then it comes back. But that happened once. It's just not to say that it's going to come back this time. Yeah, because there was those rumors for a while that Target was, you know, at odds with Marvel Legends and considering, like, nixing it. But then right after those rumors hit, it was wave after wave after wave after wave, like, every month to the point where shit was getting clearanced out two weeks in to make room for the next wave that was hitting. So Yeah, and I don't know ultimately who's at fault there because, I mean, is that Target – jumping the gun because it seems like they clear i mean there was some stuff i swear they were clearancing within a few weeks well it's because they had to make room yeah like the all these waves like right after they don't one have after to order all of them right i mean or well that i think what? i think the issue is more on hasbro's end because think about a, hasbro's production isn't ever lined up with where it's supposed to be like even when we talked to to uh, matt with big big like big nerdy like over at nerdzoic like 
he said that a lot of times their shit just like they're like hey by the way this is coming all of a sudden like the the no way home wave that was supposed to hit in like january february and it's hitting right. early december at technically right. end of uh, november they're gonna say november yeah so like yeah i mean you're definitely right there uh but yeah i mean i could definitely see it going because you think about it too I mean, they have definitely, I think they, I think they have time to change at this point directions, but as of right now, Deadpool is the only MCU movie next year. Well, so that's greatly going to affect, but they usually Marvel get Legends. their stuff with the concept art. Like when we had the, the pandemic, right. they were releasing movie right. figures all the time. It fucked them in the long run, but, but yeah. what I'm, but also at that point, they didn't have time to react because the delays happened while the stuff mm -hmm. was already in motion at this point i believe they have plenty of time to like Early not enough. release certain ways so you think they're gonna we get know okay. so i'm thinking that retailers may really hold back because it's going to be a lot of comic based stuff and maybe even hasbro is going to hold back a little bit and maybe mm -hmm. slow down if they need to I, I don't know like has, and I'm not, I don't pay attention as much as I used to because I, I don't buy them as like I used to. But like, has there been a bunch of waves announced? Like, because I feel like there's not a lot of things hanging out there for Marvel Legends. I think there's a couple waves that are still waiting to be released. Not a lot. But at the same time, they do a, a live stream like every month. So like, it's hard telling to before yeah, the next time they I do. Just, yeah, I just, I haven't. I'm just trying to think the last like um, like live stream that they did that was about like a, a wave. It wasn't related to, you know, the uh, Ant-Man and that right. stuff. Yeah. Well, there is the wave that's hitting right now that has that weird build a figure with the, the giant copper colored robot dome head dude with the smoky eyes i have no idea what he's actually called um let's okay. see, pull it up on like big bad toy store or something but i know that one's like starting to hit some places let's see it's marvel so there's a, there's a spider there's a spider-man wave that's been announced that has this it's the retro wave with scarlet spider and tombstone and okay uh hollow's eve and all them there's the it's the the wave that has the hippie uh namor and the caped black panther and vision and uh, okay. marvel's wonder woman oh yeah chris star because i do have that one on pre-order yeah that's the void build a figure but that's it though um yeah they have the mcu infinity saga oh, yeah, that wave. weird like Re, I, I yeah. thought that already hit a lot of places. Like, not. I, I wonder if it's not it. going to mass retail. I think yeah, it might just be like fan channel. That's what I'm wondering. Um, because then that yeah, because uh, the, the mindless one has pretty much shipped, and that's the one. Yeah, that's the Marvel Legends uh, Knights one, right? With Blade yes, and, and that one's Daredevil. not at mass retail. It's specifically. Not. Oh, I thought, no. I, okay, so I know it's like GameStop, but GameStop also gets fan GameStop. mail stuff, yeah. Yep, yep. At least, I mean, it, when it was announced, it was announced as a non, like, no Walmart, no Target. It would be a fan channel only. Hmm. And as far as I know, that is still the case. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, they've definitely slowed down, because, I mean, there used to be a wave a month, and I don't know. Yeah, now we only have like a couple that Two. are still in the, the yeah. chamber. So hopefully they will slow down. Hopefully they do it like maybe once every three months or even once every other month, yeah. like something. But like this whole nonsense for the past six months has just been one after another after another. It's, it's too much. Like between funds aren't available and a lot of the stuff people just don't want because it's a lot of the characters that we've seen a hundred times. Right. And, um, right. and very rarely is it a... Yeah, and very rarely is it even like a huge upgrade on the characters you've seen. So... Right. Exactly. Um, but yeah, back to selfie series. I, I before we close out, I guess the question I want to raise is, what would they have had to done to entice you guys to spend the sixty dollars? Because mm. I already spent the sixty dollars. I was ready to spend another sixty dollars to get the upgraded, like actual, like sculpted beards and shit. So, 
Um, probably mm. nothing. Like it just wasn't. For, no, I don't. And I don't mean that. Like I know what you mean. Yeah, just it's not for me. Like I don't need it. But I guess if they like gave it to me, I don't know. Like so, there's I don't no know. world where Nate wants an action figure himself. Um, if, like, if it would have to be on like selfie series, series, you know, wave four, version 4.0 or whatever, where I got to be like Cobra commander with a removable helmet or something like that. Like maybe something like that. But uh, even then, like I would put the helmet on it. Like, <laughs> like, like well, I want to see that. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. Yeah. Like I'm not in that. I'm not in that world. So I think it's a neat idea for those who want it. I I do. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool, but I don't need it. Hmm. Fair. All right, then. How about you, Jamar? Um, I mean, I go last. Yeah. (laughs) I would have got it. Um, My thing was, you know, like I said, my dream scenario of it was I would like to be like, I'm the Black Panther now or something like that. So again, I adding more bodies, it was like, all right, well, if I spend 60 bucks on this and then I get a body that I don't really want, then I have to buy a figure that I already have, take the head off. Black it was Panther's just like a always. lot for me. Six bucks. Sure. Is it? Yeah. The entire uh, wave. Oh, no, that's true. That's his, just, that is true. him. Killmonger. Yeah, but that wasn't the case when this initially launched. So, well, then t- if they wouldn't have memory. killed it, it we could have still done it now. <laughs> Yeah, but I, oddly, I want to answer the question in a slightly different way. I think, you know, me as this multi-millionaire marketing genius, I feel like they kind of dropped the ball of marketing it directly towards like toy collectors already. Um, th- I feel like this could have had a market in retail in a sense of like, you know, buy your Hasbro selfie series card and you can gift it to a kid or something like that, that would like to have that, that maybe still has that imagination more than what like a, you know, say an adult like Nate who doesn't want to see himself as a toy. But like, I I just feel like that was a market that could have been used as like gifts. Like that's your gift market right there, Michael, of getting it to say, Oh, I can buy this and my kid could become a action figure cool, I'll pick this up and, you know, then, you know, take it home, scan the code, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that could have been a little bit better stat strategy being like just through the app and online, you already had to kind of be plugged in to know that this even existed. You know what I mean? And I probably wouldn't even known it just it if it wasn't for the show, to Mm -hmm. be honest with you. And I'm like probably that one step removed from being just a normal person as far as viewing toys. So I I just feel like that would I know I'm just one of a kind, but I do feel like that has a lot to do with like, it should have been people I know who just kind of knew slightly about me and said, Oh, you like toys. Have you seen this thing where you can like make your own action figure? It just didn't seem to be marketed that, that well to my, in my opinion of like what caused it to just go away. But that's fair. Like, I feel like the only reason I saw ads for it was because, you know, my algorithm is very clearly toy based. Like, so Instagram was like, hey, you like toys, want a toy of yourself, but your average person isn't going to get that. They're going to get whatever their algorithm, like, finds for them. So I do feel like the marketing... It's usually boobs. (laughs) Or drill Uh, tablets. Yes, or drill tablets. Uh, But yeah, so I feel like I agree. The marketing for it wasn't there. I also feel like, yeah, the gift aspect should have been more thought out because either A, you know, sell a code that gets somebody it, or B, it doesn't... Like, you have to choose the hairstyle that's predetermined. Like, so scanning my both sides of my face is irrelevant. Could have just simply had me upload a picture, and it would have the same effect. Yeah, but maybe, like, jawline. Don't be too presumptuous. No, the jawlines are all the same, too. It's all the same, like, round head. That was another complaint people yeah. had, was that people who Let's don't have a fat face. Presumptuous on the technology that they're using is able to take just a picture. I just feel also, like also, 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 one feel, big thing that you're missing though saying. is privacy concerns. Because if yes. if you're not scanning your own face in the app, then how do we know that you're not making you know? Oh yeah, just making an army of my friends to to do yeah, terrible so things like, too. 
Yeah, yeah. So I get, th- I get sure. that. But I don't know. I 100 get it. But right. I'm saying that for a gift aspect of it, like a gift, you generally are trying to surprise the person. So like. Giving them a gift where they have to do work to get it, the chances of them doing it, they'd have to be really excited. Card. You know how many millions of gift cards are <laughs> yeah. given as gifts every year? Yeah, but like if you're I, giving I this to someone who them. isn't like a, a big collector, the chances of them going through all that effort unless they're genuinely excited about it. But hey, hey, guess what? Guess what? That's even better for Hasbro. Because they don't have they to, to produce anything. Figure. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> got me there. There you go, Hasbro. You want to save selfie yeah. series? Let us fucking buy yeah, QR I codes. And get I think we save selfie series. Absolutely. And you know, there's one other thing they probably could have done is when you upload a photo of yourself for it, then you can get an NFT of yourself. Oh my oh, god! Missed the way. Fucking brilliant. Anyway, they missed the way. Want to hit us with some some uh, Patreon input before we close out? I absolutely want to uh, hit you up with some Patreon input. <laughs> Sounds oh so dirty. God, you... see... Well, I didn't see that you sent this. It should be the first photo, not the second photo. It is. I get it. All right. <clears throat> I, do I read? Do I do dramatic readings of these? I don't remember. Yes, I, yes, I, yes. <laughs> Jesus, this is overly always dramatic, right? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm on the pot of water. <clears throat> All right. First up, Christopher. Oh man. There's nothing on the paper or, you know, on his screen. <laughs> this seemed like a surefire home run of a product. But all the reviews I've seen are meh to awful. Maybe they could try again. <clears throat> All right. In scene? Yeah. <laughs> you Wait, for scene two, cigarette. take one? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Audio listeners? Yeah, I feel bad for them right now. <laughs> Hasbro failed to realize the bulk of their customers are ugly guys. Otherwise, we wouldn't be playing with toys. We'd be having sex with women, idiots. That was from Sucking the Paint. No Wait, shot. that was just the <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, oh, that's pretty good. I well, can't do the exact same thing over again. I have to give dramatic reading. You're not wrong. Um, but yeah, so let us know in the comments below where you stand on it. We'd Maybe. be having sex with women. Idiots. I like that. I'm going to use that. It needs to be more of like a question. The problem is, is if I create this character and it becomes a massive hit, say like a like a, a, a two movie deal and there's even like a prequel show on Peacock or something. For the podcast, do I owe Suck My Tent a certain amount of that? No, it was posted on our Patreon, so we own everything. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> anyway, well, we, if you we, in if you have any thoughts or feelings about the selfie series, let us know in the comments below. Did you pick one up? What were your thoughts about it? Did you just think it was a dumb idea? Would you buy a figure of yourself? Have you gotten a quote from someone who actually does like a full legit ass thing and understand the prices? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Helps us out. Gets you a bunch of tutorial content in your feed. We've got reviews, how to pose videos. We've got the weekly live stream, weekly podcasts, and the weekly toy hunts. You can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair. 
If you're already a fan of the channel and like to help support us, get over to Patreon.com. We have a bunch of different tiers of different rewards. You can have episode input. You can submit potential fake podcasts for Nate to read every week. You can also get physical prints of the photos I take and get episodes of the podcast at Toy Hunt early. Uh, there's multiple tiers with free trials, so you can have seven days, you know, try it before you buy it kind of situation link in the description below you can check jamar out over on tiktok at jamar underscore games nate what do you got for us well it's funny that we did this topic tonight uh, i didn't know how this was going to work out let's get a little bit of a conflict of interest but uh we have a whole new podcast uh coming out it is called suck my selfie and what we do is we take uh just the bodies of the selfie series um, so just like random Ghostbusters and Snake Eyes, basically. And it's it's a high audio definition podcast where we take those figures and put them in our mouth. So it's like an ASMR a- thing. We don't put the heads in there, though. They don't, no, they don't belong there. Mm-mm. But the bodies, they go in the mouth. <laughs> Hopefully we see you guys next week. Same toy time, same toy work channel. Thank you for watching. I will here to do it now all right a huge thank you to our patreon members is that what it is are they members are they followers sukma taint jason millar tavin hernandez aaron samples the 45th lyric and last but not least christopher